in today's video we're gonna talk about the i want to repetition fees uh, if you're gonna submit an original or copies of required document if you're gonna translate those required document and also if you need to submit a passport photos to the i-130 forms if it's something you want to know just stay tuned and i'll be right back usa Monda. good morning my beautiful people this is john from usa Monda. welcome back and thanks for watching if it's your first time on my channel as always welcome uh, if you are new here we talk about immigration sometimes we talk about finance and sometimes we talk about business just so i can help you guys who are newcomers in the united states of america and also who are permanent resident and u.s citizen here in the united states of america like i say in the introduction today's video will be about the fees you're going to pay for your hour 30 um, petition if you're going to submit the, the original or copies of the required document uh, if you're going to translate those documents and also if you're going to need a, uh, a passport photo you know if you're going to add a passport photo to the i want to before you submit it to uscs so you know i started a series of um, video regarding i want to process this is going to be on uh, number three on uh, video number three about the i want to process okay so the first thing is going to be the the fees uh, like i say when you petition uh, for your relative of course you have to pay uscs uh, a fee okay so the i want to petition fee right now is 535 but in october 2nd uh, that fee will increase and i made a video about you know how much it will be i think um if you file it online it's gonna be 550 starting uh, october 2nd but if you're still not doing a uh, paper filing it's gonna be 560 so basically there is a ten dollars different if you file it online okay so now there you just you don't just submit it i want to repetition you have to add some required document before you either upload them or to uscs or, or send them or to uscs or via mail okay those documents they don't have to be the original document they have to be a photocopies okay so you have to make a, a copies of the original document and that's what you're gonna upload or send to USCS but in case USCS ask you to send the original of those required document you have to send the original of those documents now those documents you send uh, let's say you send a birth certificate or marriage certificate and they are in Arabic or in French are you just gonna submit those documents like that no you have to translate those documents in English if you don't translate those documents in English guess what USCS will return you your your application okay so make sure you translate those documents and not just on uh, translated use on uh, Google translate no you have to use uh, somebody who is competent uh, to translate a document okay and then that person have to sign it you know that's uh, he's competent to translate document as you sign it maybe a stamp on the document before you either upload it to uscs or if you file it online or submit it to uscs or via mail you know add them to your your i mean the whole i want to reform you know the rest of the document before you submit it to uscs okay so now you know people ask me if they have to add a, a photo or to the application before you submit it okay the only time you add photo is if you're filing for your spouse okay if you're filing for your spouse and your spouse lives overseas you're gonna add uh, two identical photo of yourself you the petitioner you know you have to add two identical photos passport photos to the application and make sure those photos are taken within 30 days okay within 30 days but in case your spouse already lives here in the united states of america you have to add two identical passport photo of your spouse as well so it's going to be two for yourself the petitioner and two for your spouse okay that's how you do it. and make sure like i say those photo has to be uh, have to be taken within 30 days so basically that's what uh, i want to talk about today you know you know some of you guys on who start this process you don't know exactly what you do because there is a lot of information on the on uscs website 
all those stuff I just talked about, they already on uh, USCIS on website. You can check it out yourself as well. But if you have uh, any question, you know, feel free to send it down the description below. I will do my best on to reply to you. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys love it. If you like this video, you know somebody who might benefit from this video, share with that person. If you love the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more video like this one, like this one here, all you got to do is subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. USA Monday.